Hey guys, welcome to our channel Code is Arcade. This is Ashank David and in today's video, we are going to talk about a pattern printing program which is going to print a butterfly pattern. So this question has been asked in multiple different companies for uh, the logic building session and uh, this in this video, I'm going to talk about that pattern only. So this is the program that we are going to discuss about but uh, first let me run this program and then show it to you how it looks like. So when I enter the number of rows, it asks well, how many number of rows you want and we get this pattern. So this is the butterfly pattern that we'll get. In this video, let's discuss about how you can build this. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is that I am going to explain you this code, how uh, we will build this code line by line. So first, let me comment all the things which are not needed as of now. Otherwise, it will it'll confuse you. So one by one, slowly, slowly, I'll explain you all the rest of the code. I'm going to comment only that part which is needed. And comment only that part which is needed to execute the code and then we will see. So I'll save it. Let's run this and check if this is working still or not. Yeah, there is some error expected here so let us solve this error first because i have uncommented a lot of things let us check for what i have done let us run this code yeah this works fine yeah oh, all right okay so um we are going to just comment till here and then we will run this yeah it works yeah fine so guys so here to build this butterfly pattern i will be creating uh the i will be uh do this pattern one by one half half quarter i'll do so first of all we are, are going to create three variables so these three variables are going to be like this so rows i and j and uh, in th this is going to be the variable which is going to be taking the uh, input from the user for the number of rows this is going to be i and j for two for loops that we're going to create and uh, first of all i've taken the input into this into this rows uh, variable and once i've taken the input into the rows column a rows uh, variable then i have created the main for loop so this for loop is just to iterate over uh, the number of rows that the user has entered for example if the user has entered 10 it will uh, iterate over the rows value starting from 1 so i will start with i with 1 and then it will go towards z equals to rows less than or equals to rows and then i plus plus and after that what we are going to do here is uh, we are going to create our first for loop which is going to print the first half first quarter of that particular pattern that we are printing what i have done is i have said that j will start from i one j will start from one and it will go to less than or equals to i that means it will go till that particular iteration of that row so for example if i is on one it specifies the first row and j will only run those many number of times hence printing only that many number of stars which will print give us a nice right angle triangle kind of a formation so if i run this code right now here you can see that it asks enter the number of rows and if i give 10 it gives us this beautiful uh, right angle triangle of 10 rows so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this is going to give us the beautiful right angle triangle which is going to be the first quarter of the pattern and then i am going to create the rest of the code how will i do that now you see i need to create the left angle triangle which i'm going to create it somewhere around here but before that i need to fill this spaces this we are going to create a v using this space in between and to do that we have written this for loop so i'm, I'm gonna uncomment it out and uh, i'm gonna explain you this this time we have started with j as 2 and uh, we are gonna just multiply it uh, by i so what happens is that uh, it starts from so 2 into let's say i value is 1 so 2 into 1 so it starts from the second position that means the second column and uh, it goes till less than uh, 2 into rows that means here now the width will be and uh, let's we are assuming that the width of this particular pattern will be into 2 rows into 2 that means it's, if the rows are 10 
the total number of columns that we are going to create is 20 so that aram say we can fit all the um, columns and the whole pattern into it so it will go to less than two into rows and then j plus plus and then there i'll just print space all right guys so when i run this program now then you see that it asks us that enter the number of rows 10 it doesn't print anything why because it has just created an invisible spaces of uh, v of spaces so it is like this okay let's say if i write here some minus symbol and if i run this see it looks like this see it looks like this this dash 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 you are seeing it is creating this v actually instead of dash we have put put the space so that for loop will create this particular space okay and then instead of down this dash i'll remove remove this dash and i'll put this space and then we will fill this rest of the part with a triangle again this side so how it looks like that for that i'm gonna uncomment out this part okay so you can see that this is again starting with j equals to 1 and j will go to less than the same for loop the exact same for loop that we have written here but because in the rest of the lines you have printed this it will just fill the rest of the part with that stars so yeah now if i run this code and if i explain you this see it prints something like this now instead of this minus symbol or the dashes we have printed we will just fill space so there you go i have some fill some space and this way if i run this you can see that it will give us this kind of a structure now this is the upper part remember after every iteration of i i'm just changing into the next line so i've printed slash n here all right guys and this is going to be the first for loop for the first half now for the second part everything is the same as this first part okay it's just like that that we have to just rotate the whole thing the inner for loop the inner working of these this block of code will be the exactly the same you just copy paste everything here it is just copy paste so i'll uncomment this off and i'll show you okay everything is copy pasted the inside part is everything is copy pasted exactly the same thing because we are doing exactly the same thing but the way of in incrementing the rows are going to be changed for this outer for loop the i value is starting from one and it'll go it was going to the rows and it was increasing but in this case we will start with the rows and it will go towards one and then we will decrement it the rest of the code is exactly the same and once you do this you see when i just run this off it gives us this beautiful pattern of butterfly that you can see right guys this is how you print this pattern well i hope so that you understood this very well if you have any doubts you can ask us in the comment section below and i'll give this uh code into the description below as well so you can copy paste and then check it out for yourself uh, practice this if you have any doubts you can ask us in the comment section this is it for this video guys thanks for watching uh, before i leave just i request you all people to like share and subscribe to our channel code is arcade and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates that's it this is ashang david signing off i'll see you guys in the next one